Hey there, today I'm going to be unboxing a, another fragrance from Louis Vuitton and talking about an item that I've had in my collection for probably about seven or eight years now and I really enjoy having it as an item and there's been a little bit of buzz about it um, on the YouTube space recently so I wanted to talk about it. Um, the version I have is no longer available but there are several other versions so I will talk about that as well. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, skincare, fragrances, handbags, small leather goods, anything that makes you feel a little bit good about yourself because you deserve it. I am treating myself to something a little bit luxurious today. I got myself on behalf of Mother's Day and from my dogs because of course they don't have their own credit card but of course they love me so they bought me something right I, mean, <laughs> I will use any excuse to buy myself a gift and uh, you know they are their lovely little little children so and there's their snore <laughs> on cue <laughs> the girls are down there in their bed they're having a good old time um so it arrived just in time and I'm going to unbox it today. But first I want to talk about, um, for just a few minutes, uh, an SLG that I've had again for quite some time in my collection. Um, I think it's about eight years now that I've had it and, um, really do enjoy carrying it and came across a few videos recently that I've talked about, um, this item. Now the version I have is no longer available from Louis Vuitton, but the, um, style, the, 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 the SLG itself is still available in a couple different varieties. I'll put some pictures of what those are. Um, so yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting and it's still at a, at a pretty, I mean, is it reasonable? <laughs> it's a reasonable price point. It's a pretty reasonable price point um, for what it does. I think it holds quite a bit of items. So um, this particular um, item is the business card case. And I believe that the one that's still available in Canvas is the same as mine, but the on prompt version um, has a snap closure. Now I might be wrong. They might have changed that, but mine does not have a snap closure. Mine is a, um, just a flat closure. So this is the business card case. Um, one of the very first SLGs I purchased, um, like I said, about eight years ago. So quite some time ago, I have the Daumier Ben print because this is my personal favorite print. I have, you know, everything, but I, I, pr I gravitate towards this particular canvas. So when I buy something in canvas, I usually get this one. If they have um, graffiti available, I will go to graffiti. Um, it's just, I, pr I just prefer this type of print. I don't know what it is about it that just draws me to it, but, um, and the gray and black, the graffiti is just really, um, I don't know, just really pretty. So I have a passport holder in that. I have a key card um, holder. I have, um, i trying to think of what else, passport holder, key clay. Um, oh, the six key holder. Yeah, so several items. And if I could, I would get more because I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy the, the men's line and, and the prints over on that side. But that being said, so this is um, a flat closure. And when you're in, you can, um, there is a card slot here in the top. There is one right here and then another larger one in the back. So um, mine isn't quite stretched out, but I would say you probably could slip two in the the front section, a whole lot more, even cash back there. And then um, at least at least one, maybe two, depending on how thick your cards are up there. Now granted, it's supposed to be a business card holder. So you're not supposed to carry that much in there, but um, it is not tiny by any, by any means. So you can definitely carry a lot. I only paid like a hundred and, 
dollars I think for it so it was really really cheap when I got mine um, I believe they're only 300 right now I'll, I'll get the pricing and everything on the um, the screen the on prompt obviously is more expensive being leather but the canvas has stayed remarkably reasonable um had i and i don't even know if they made it i would get an event um an event an azure one if i came if it, it did come in that color i would look for one and, and pick one up in a heartbeat because i think that's a really nice compact wallet um if i don't need to carry a whole lot i actually prefer card holders like this that are pretty um compact i, I mean i don't mind the ones with the slip you know pockets in them that you know carry like three or four per side um they're fine and i have one from loewe that um you know is a coin and then it has the like four pockets on the back and that's fine too it's just a little bit larger than than this but i don't know why this one just really um i just find it a really versatile and and um nice piece so anyway, the piece of results, <laughs> what, we, what we came here for, right? So I ordered um, a fragrance from LV. And if you've been here for a minute, you know that I'm very partial to LV fragrances. I really enjoy them. And um, there are several on my list that I want to pick up. And in this case, I decided to um, pick up a travel one because I just... I'm not going through my bottles fast enough. I have so many fragrances that I thought this might be a way to preserve the fragrance a little bit more since it's sealed. Um, I keep them in their case. It's, it, I don't know. I, I'm justifying girl mathing my way into why this makes sense, but it's also a cheaper way to try the fragrance if you, um, don't know. So here's the, atomizer so the initial purchase the outlay is actually more expensive than um, buying a bottle of fragrance I believe it, it's still the 380 for the is it 380 360 I don't know whatever I'll put it in the screen <laughs> the, whatever a full bottle of fragrance is it's it's the same amount for this and you just get four little refill tubes and then the refills are um now 140 dollars it used to only be a hundred so it was a real it was really good savings at the time that you would get this device and then you could buy the cartridges for a very reasonable very reasonable price and and be able to refill um the downfall is you really should have a I guess it's the word I'm looking for, like a chaser or a cleaner <laughs> in between the scents because there could be some overlap. It's a very interesting um, system. So how it goes in there, there's not really like a um, tube or anything that sucks out the fragrance. It's kind of like an air system, but even so it has a little bit of, um, you know, in between like the fragrances, there'll be a little bit of the other fragrance still there. So you kind of want to have that um, cleaner in between. And the only way to get that is with the um, travel set that comes with multiple fragrances. And that's one's a little bit more expensive, but um, I just swap them out, spray it a few times and eventually the, <laughs> the, scents, the scents make their way through. So I'm not, I don't care. And my scents are close enough alike in, in um, notes that the ones I've gotten in the travel that it hasn't been a, an issue. But anywho, I ordered online and it came with this little sample. And I, I know I've gotten samples before within the package, but I've never seen it like this. And it just says Les, Les Parfums um, Louis Vuitton. And let's see what's in. A card which is at the store you'll get this card that you can um, you know test fragrances on and they sent over a chop rev so I think I already have this one so I won't I won't spray it and I'll just keep it in case I need to pass it along to someone else because why not but I thought that was really nice so I hope that they're doing that just in general like general purchases because um, 
I remember the only way I got samples for the longest time was only with my fragrance purchases or if I went to the store and asked for one. And even then they were kind of stingy. Like they were going to give you one and I'm like, okay, I would like to try a couple of them. So I found that the only way for me to really get them is to buy a fragrance and you, you get a couple or um, if you have a sales associate that really likes you then they might give you a few but um receipt did i write myself anything from the kids <laughs> let's see no nope. just the just the one thing but um what's new is when I bought online, it came with a shopping bag. And I thought that was really nice because for the longest time you didn't get them. What wasn't nice is it didn't have a ribbon. <laughs> like it normally, I have purchased a ton of fragrance online and they usually come wrapped really nicely. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, but at least it's easy to open. So there's that. We've got this lovely box right here. A couple more samples inside. Let's see what we got. At least there's a ribbon inside. Let's see what they sent over. They sent over Stellar Times, which I believe is one of their exclusives, and more Trap Revs. I think they're trying to sell a top reps. I don't know. Just kind of a hint. The box is crushed, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's still sealed. Hello, I should probably tell you what the fragrance is. Cour Baton is what I um, decided to get. Don't, if you don't speak French, Cour Baton means beating heart. So it's a very love-themed type, type of scent. The product code is LP0156. It's the four by 7.5 milliliter refills. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so they come in these little vials right here. And there's, there's no way to spray these until you put them in to the um, atomizer. Oh, I should have done that real quick. So you'll hear the magnet. Just suck it. <laughs> it sucks it up there. Put the bottom on and then this is the top removes. And I still have um, Ours de Absence was the um, last scent that I sprayed. I'm going to use something as a chaser. Okay. Clean out the pipes as they say. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, as I was researching this scent, mm, <laughs> I, 
I went to Frantic Grantica and um, it was like, smells like, and there was like peony and blush suede, <gasps> Joe Malone, um, wood sage and sea salt. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, all of these fragrances, Miss Dior, um, a trap revs is the other one that it smells like apparently according to some folks, just basically all of these, you know, aquatic floral, sweet type of scents. Um, and I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> what? If you've seen my fragrance wall over there, it, it's credit for It's like, when was this going to come into my collection? Well, yeah. And I still want to add a trap revs. I still want to add, um, Oh, what's the other one that is really like a cocoa heavy, um, scent. There's like six that I want to add. And it's like with the amount of fragrance that I have, should I be doing this? Probably not. But at this price point and at this, um, you know, method, I could probably get the entire collection of fragrances and, be out less than two bottles but there are a few that i really love and um unfortunately the only ones that come in this um are the actual perfumes so you can't get the elixirs the exclusive excuse me um you can't get the um you can't get the um colognes so like pacific chill um, California Dream, any of those, um, unfortunately do not come in this method, but the, um, men's colognes do. So the full like imagination, um, I'm trying to think of all of the, the different men's, um, fragrances that, that come out. And I, I want to say some of the oods do as well you just have to kind of search for the travel section and see which ones do but they're they're limited i think louis vuitton knows like they don't want to have this be available because it is a way to get them at a cheaper price but at the same time it's like what about the folks who want to travel with their perfume i mean don't you want to make that accessible to the your customer that wants to travel with their fragrances i mean i know i can buy an atomizer off of amazon and fill it from the spray it, it, it's not like it's rocket science but at the same time it's like make it easier and not as much work to do so the main sense on this it's a pear um a scent let me grab Regantica and let me help you out here and let you know what's on there um ambrette and pear is what louis vuitton shows on their um website but we'll go off of fragrantica so top notes pear cascalone ambrette musk mellow Mill notes are Egyptian jasmine, narcissus, and um, lang lang, and the base note is patchouli and moss. I am not the biggest fan of patchouli, at least on its own. Patchouli to me is a little, a little much, but it's a part of a lot of fragrances, especially the sweet gourmands um, that I tend to like. But it has to be like a subtle in the back kind of scent. And I think that that's pretty much what it is here. It's, it's just kind of like, it's that base note that's just like holding on to all the rest of the notes um, out there. So that the pear, I think the pear is gone. Like the pear is what you initially, like the, the first kick of what you get, but you're really getting the mosque mallow, um, the lang lang, the jasmine, which I'm usually can, get headaches from so I'm a little was a little bit worried about that but I think that they've done the right blend that it's not overpowering or at least not to the point where it that's at the forefront of the scent so I'm really quite pleased with um with it so yeah um 
So this is a way. So if you, you got to shell out, of course, the money for the initial buy, um, so full price. But then once you have the atomizer, it's a couple of spritzes. So you waste a little bit. Um, I don't want to say waste. You kind of have a blended fragrance <laughs> for a minute or two. Um, so maybe one day where you, so you got to make sure that you're kind of um, transitioning with fragrances that um, are similar in nature. Um, I don't think that's a problem though. I think it smells great. So, um, yeah, I really, I really like it. So just one more to my ever growing collection of fragrances that I probably should stop doing, but I love it. So it just brings me so much joy. Um, I don't know, it just sets my, sets my mood, sets my, sets my day. Um, I just really enjoy what, what scent and fragrance brings to my life. So I think if you want to try out some fragrances from Louis Vuitton, definitely if you don't have a boutique near you, there are a number of methods to get, um, samples, um, decants online. Um, there are even some places to get dupes out there. Some of the fragrances have been discontinued and I'm on a journey to find, um, you know, Cactus Garden, Contra Moi, um, Sunsong, and I got a couple off of eBay from, I think it's European perfumes. The Contra Moi is pretty good. Uh, Cactus Garden, not so much, but um, there's another website I just found too that um, I think it's called Fragrance Revival, if I remember correctly, that I'm going to try and see how they're doing with it. Thankfully, I have enough of the fragrances left that um, I can still compare and make sure that they're um, close enough, but I was pleasantly surprised with the Contra Moi dupe um, that came out. I mean, I hope to God, uh, Louis Vuitton changes their mind, brings it back at some point, but, um, you know, this will do in the, in the meantime, and I will slowly, <laughs> slowly use up my, my bottle from, from LV over the years, but I know that eventually it won't, it won't be the same, but anywho, I hope that this was just a little bit of insight into Cour Bouton and the business card case that I think is an interesting and, and really good purchase if you're looking for a card holder. Um, like Tavania, happy um, beginning of summer if you're, you know, going into that for your part of the world or whatever time of year it is for you when you're watching this, please enjoy your day like comment subscribe all that stuff tell me what your favorite fragrance is from louis vuitton if you have any if you don't what's your favorite favorite fragrance in general do you like joe malone do you like house of siage what what are you wearing right now so comment down below and i'd love to chat with you take care